we've moved factory and it's a little bit bigger than our last workshop. You can see that we're, while we're still setting up, we've got space to work on multiple vehicles at the same time. Uh, oh, new space coming soon. Uh, but the important thing is multiple vehicles, expanded equipment, dedicated areas for fabrication, for electrical assembly, for new product lines like uh, that Mini that you can see there and more to come. Dedicated testing, space for people to, you know, bang hammers uh, and not annoy people who are over in uh, electrical assembly, which is over there. Uh, I'll just take you on a tour. We've got what I've been calling Australia's best defender. That's because I genuinely think it is. Tesla motor powered, huge battery pack, air suspension, dual cab 110, like one of the most iconic shape defenders. It's just in the middle of uh, final 12 volt wiring. Looks like terrible spaghetti in there. Soundproof interior fitment. Uh, that's nearly ready to go or custom roll bar and everything. Um, whole really nice setup in the back with, you know, custom interior and, and for everything. Anyway, it's a very, very lovely car. Um, guys working on Mini, I'll come back to. The Range Rover that we're working on with Bendigo Tech School, so that's part of that education project we're doing. There were the students have done all the, uh, I guess, repair, renovation, restoration on this car. So this will, this has got a Tesla motor in the middle. So that's a Model 3 motor out to the front and rear drive shafts. And we'll have a battery pack in the front and rear. I'll show you those battery packs in build. Two late model Defenders, a 2010 and a 2013. Those will be our the first of our true next generation platform using our universal battery box and a whole bunch of other good stuff uh, that we'll show you soon. One is uh, still complete. The other is uh, development shell at the moment. So missing the gearbox, the motor, all that stuff and is about to have a test fit of all of the uh, new high voltage components in this engine bay and through the transmission tunnel um, there's a lot more to come around these over here the guys are working on what is the last of our i guess the the very last one of our original series builds so that's with the hyper 9 motor into the series land rover gearbox and transfer case with the 53 kilowatt hour battery pack junction box on top just having its high voltage lines run through the chassis having all the coolant system plumbed in and what else is going on charger panel uh being put in but you can see it's got all our series stuff that will continue which is things like the disc brake system uh if the bulkhead was here you'd see it had a, a power steering system uh all of these kind of nice things this is going to be a, a quite amazing car that'll have um it's got a custom uh, seatbelt mount kind of rollover system designed for carrying a longboard. It's going to live up in the Gold Coast and uh, have a very fun life. This is going to be in an Arctic white. So the the Galvano chassis against the white and the black, you know, going to be very nice. Um, we've got here oh, diagramming of high voltage and coolant systems and things. We'll move on from that. Fabrication zone. So that's uh, sheet metal and welding everything in there. Over here, we've got our engineering shop, so multiple mills, uh, well, one mill, multiple lathes. Uh, well, there is a CNC mill. We'll talk about that more another time. Presses, all the gear we need to machine and test and prototype components that are going into the new vehicles we're doing. Come back past the Mini. So in final install of the Mini, using our full Mini kit, uh, so that's front and back, 70 kilowatt Zonic motor, single reduction gear with a 19 kilowatt hour battery pack that all fits in on from an original subframe into the engine bay. And then also a rear battery pack where the charger and the DC-DC lives as well. Uh, this is all the wiring that's going on and some complex nut tightening <laughs> there's always some challenging uh whether it's a mini or a land rover there's always some uh 
tricky nuts and bolts, even from factory, not even from ZV conversion, there's always something odd. So that's the rear battery pack in, the charger in, sound editing happening inside the, the car because of course without that engine noise you hear a lot of other things. So that cuts down on the tyre noise, uh, the wind noise, the road noise, uh, and even the, the noise that the electric motor and gearbox are going to make. Uh, we're excited to keep growing and building better cars uh, at a better quality at a faster pace. Lots more to show you over the coming weeks.